In today's vlog, I am going to be sharing with you guys my new business supplies, talking about future plans, and just getting organized. Hey guys, I'm Brandy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button. I am super excited to share with you today's episode. Let's jump right into it. Hey y'all, good morning. Happy, happy Sunday. Hope everybody is doing well on this Sunday. Oh, it's a beautiful day outside. It sure is. As you guys can see, it is late in the morning. I think it's maybe like almost eight o'clock. So I am starting my videos late. And this morning, let me tell you, I um, I really did set my alarm clock for like four o'clock for another day, not Sunday. I woke up at six like, hmm, why didn't my alarm go off? I'm looking, I'm looking. And I set my alarm to go off during the week. Like if I was going to getting ready for work or something like that. So it's late in the morning. So I'm on the grind this morning. I still have to do my craft video. So I just wanted to share with you guys in this week's vlog. Um, I'm trying to get my business organized, getting business supplies, um, setting, setting goals. So for those of you who don't know, I live in a two bedroom apartment for my daughter and I, and I don't have a craft room. So I, my bedroom's huge, so I use a portion of my bedroom for my crafting area, and then I use my dining room area for my crafting area, and then I have these nice side laundry room that I use for like my craft storage and stuff like that for my business and of course for my personal stuff and of course for Avon. So this week's supplies came in. What? I am so excited. So I'm trying to ramp up my my packaging. I've seen a lot of um other people that um on youtube and on tiktok who just wrap their their shippings you know their items to their customer like and it's so pretty so i am attempting to add new um shipping techniques so i um went ahead and ordered some stuff with uline this week and it came like the next day like uline's dope like they are really really quick and they have a lot of nice stuff and you can get supplies for your business in bulk so i'm excited to be doing business with uline um i wanted to share with you guys a couple things so i got my handy dandy notebook like you know i just got a regular old notebook that i've had like forever and i just ripped out some old pages like nothing you know extravagant or anything like that but like you know i'm trying to get organized right with my business because what i'm learning is like organization is like a, an essential an essential part of your business so i'm really planning on this upcoming week of getting stuff um prioritized and organized and getting like a nice flow to my business so um I wanted to come on here and share with you what I plan on doing um, in this week's vlog and share with you my new items. You guys know my favorite color is purple, right? Come on. You guys know it. You guys know my favorite color is purple. So let's start off. Mm, isn't this so pretty? Look at this. Yes. Look at that purple. Purple's a color for royalty. You know, purple is my grandmother's favorite color too. And then my um, my grandmother's sister. Um, it was their color. And it's like, I grew up on purple. So it is so pretty. So this is my wrapping paper. So I plan on getting creative. You know, wrapping like my t-shirts or like my mugs, um, tumblers, anything like my um, my earrings, all kinds of stuff. And then the new product that I have to come as well too. I still have so much more to offer. I'm not, I'm not done yet. I'm nowhere near done yet. I'm just getting started, you know. So I have the wrapping paper and um, 
I'm super excited. I know it's huge. It's a lot. But you know what, though? That is going to last me probably for like a year or more. Now, if business starts jumping, hey, it might go faster than that. You never know. But um, that's, that, that should last me a pretty long time, right? So I also... Look at this, guys. This is just gorgeous. It's so pretty. So I also got some crinkle paper. I got some crinkle paper to go into my gifts. How pretty is that? Look, so, you know, I got to get how to get by the window so I can get that natural light to bounce off the purple, right? Look at that. It's so pretty. I'm so excited. You know, this is just extra stuff that I thought was a great idea, something I want to do. A lot of um, a lot of people won't or do not do, and that's okay. That's their choice. You know, it's whatever works. But I just want to do a little something extra special for my gifts and you know for my customers. You know, um, some people say that's you know coming out of your pocket, but hey. There's nothing wrong with um, going the extra mile or going the extra step just to, you know, make something look good or, you know, um, make customers happy because we're not like a, a small business, folks. We're not like Amazon or, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? We have to work a little bit harder. I'm learning and, you know, from other people that I've been watching and, um, just for myself, we have to work a little bit harder. So I want to give my customers the best experience when they shop with Simply Created and Designed, right? So I also ordered these, these nice boxes, right? So the boxes, you could put, you know, shirts and stuff in those boxes or, you know, if I have, you know, anything large it, they, they fold thin I believe these are the eight by eight so it'd be something like you know kids shirts if I had like a large order for kids shirts maybe I do have the bubble bags over there um but when my aunt got her shirt the um the other day now when um when her shirt was folded nice and pretty in the bag it was nice and neat she sent me a picture of the shirt telling me that she loved the shirt, which I am so glad that she loved the shirt. Hey, shout out Aunt Nita. Um, I'm so glad she loved her shirt. Um, when I looked at it, I said, oh my God, that was wrinkled. So, you know, probably in the bubble paper along the way or whatnot, um, it probably got bunched up with a ton of packages. So definitely didn't look like that when it left here, but it, it was, it was weird. but at the end of the day, my customer's happy and excited and that's all that mattered. So, um, I got these boxes to probably put like, you know, you probably could put like children's shirts in here or something like that. Or, um, you probably could put adult shirts in here, but I probably would have to get like a next size up. But I got like this little small box right here and it might work for adult shirts as well. Um, I'd have to see and check them out. So I'm going to play with those and fold them and see what I can get in those babies, um, and kind of go from there. And I got myself trying to get organized because since I have like a ton of, well, not a ton, but I have quite a few stickers and then I have stickers on sheets that I've made, you know, for my customers. And then I have some that are on rolls. So I got this little tape dispenser, um, to kind of help myself get organized, you know, cause I have stickers here in the folder and then I have stickers in my laundry room like the fragile stickers for my for my mugs and stuff like that um, those and I also got some um, some tape from sticker mule with my brand on it for my boxes I have to go get those and show you those or either I'll insert a picture so you can see it. So this is what the roller looks like. So, so 
like that, right? Like this it goes, and then so on. So, just trying to get organized. You know, there's so many things I want to do, and let me tell you, I am speaking it into existence. You hear me? One day, maybe sooner than later, I'm going to have me a house. And when I get my house, I'm going to have me a craft room. So it's it's hard because stuff is like here, stuff is like there. So it's all over the place. So, um, but I'm speaking into the existence. You hear me? Matter of fact, I'm going to get me a lottery ticket. I am. I think the Powerball or the Mega Millions, well, it was high yesterday. I think one of them goes off on Saturday nights. I think I'm going to go ahead and get me a, um, a ticket. Mm-hmm. So I can go ahead and get my house because I am planning my craft room. The one thing I wish I had room for to make a place, but you know, with a two-year-old, you're very limited <laughs> to, I have to be strategic on how I have stuff laid out where she can't um, get to it. My daughter, she's two, but she's tall for a two-year-old. She's almost like, um, people think she's like three or four. Right, because her daddy is six five, so my daughter's tall and I'm five five, so she's definitely not getting her high after me. So she's a tall two year old, so I have to be very strategic for how I, you know, place things. But what I would really like is to find somewhere in my house or make a child proof section <laughs> of um, a shipping station, so I can have all my shipping stuff right here because like I run down through like a mental check and I'm actually probably gonna make me like a little spreadsheet to make sure I check off it's probably extra but I just want to make sure I check off everything um that I normally do for my steps so I don't forget anything um but I want to figure out how to make a shipping step uh station somewhere in my apartment I'm gonna figure it out so I also got these boxes right here for tumblers um and I don't know, they may fit my coffee mugs. I'm not sure. But I think when I was looking at the looking at the um the measurement for these, it these would fit the skinny tumblers. So I'm probably going to start doing um maybe soon, shortly. Maybe in a few weeks or something like that. I plan on buying a convection oven so I can start doing sublimation tumblers. Yes. So I'm prepping. I'm getting prepared for myself um, for those. So that, those are those boxes are for. So um, let's look at my little handy dandy notebook here. That stuff I want to talk about. Yes, I write my stuff down. I cannot help it. Sometimes I remember everything up here. I don't want to make sure I shared everything with you guys. Um, oh yeah, and I'm probably going to get maybe one or two more sizes in boxes once I see how those fold. But we'll see. I'm just planning for the future um, so I can be ready. So I'm not waiting to like the last minute and then I'm like scrambling or trying to order something and try to get stuff done. Like I'm doing little steps, baby steps. Um, just so I can, just so I can be ready. I don't know what that noise is. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but they're doing something on the other side of that fence. But um, I just want to. Um, I I also plan this week. You guys hear me? I am going to organize my um, my laundry room, my storage section for my craft stuff. I'm really going to organize those two. Well, two of those shelves I need to organize. But also, you know what else I want to do to get organized in my business? I want to make SKUs. I guess what you call them. They'd be SKUs. So they would be like, you know, like your ID number for your product. So I have some key fobs, keychains, and earrings um, that I want to make SKUs for. So I can put it in the system, in my website, and on SD. So when I have an order, and I fill my sleeves, I can put the number on there. And I have like a, I don't know if you guys saw a few videos, a few videos ago, I have a organization, like they're like tiny drawers and I have certain things in there. So right now what I do is I, oh, that's not it. Oh, that's not it. Oh, that's not it. Oh, 
there they are you know so i want to make skews so when they so when they print off on the packing list i'm like oh yeah that's number 27 boom pull the drawer and it's right there it would be easy for me to pull it instead of me trying to open up each one trying to remember which ones are which so um i plan on making skews and then um what other little things do i got going on here Oh, and also my number one goal, um, I want more than anything is to get a little tiny mini, cause I'll have to find room for it, which I'll probably end up putting in my bedroom. Like I said, my master bedroom, my apartment, my apartment's a huge apartment, but my, um, bedroom is huge so I'll probably put it on one of the walls in there but I would really literally love to get a small stock supply on t-shirts so if anybody knows any like like the best wholesale place to buy t-shirts in bulk Right now, I'm going to have to do it through probably like, you know, a variety of stores that I shop at, you know, probably like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or um, for kids shirts, depending on colors and stuff like that, maybe Carter's or Children's Place. Um, and I also saw on someone's website that they use ARB blanks. So I actually just looked at that website this morning for blanks for children shirts. So I plan on starting to get stock. I would love to have at least five, um, a quantity of five shirts in each color in, in each size. So um, that is like one of my big things because of like right now when I go to um, the store, I have to <laughs> look for shirts. And like I have a, I have a few shirts here, um, but it's always like when I get an order, it's always a shirt that I don't have here in my little stuff, my little stash, so to speak. So I cannot wait till I can build a little t-shirt warehouse for myself, um, so I don't have to run to the store each time uh, I get a shirt order. So those, these are just like I'm sharing with you how I'm gonna get organized for my small business, my little small business goals. Um, and um, all that kind of stuff and just to kind of help myself stay organized with my, my business. So I think I got everything here that I shared with you guys. So look, um, if you're running a small business, stay positive, you know, highs and lows. I'm very new in this business and I've experienced <laughs> some things over the last few weeks that you really don't see when you're in the making. But look, let those things happen, let it play out. You learn from those things and you grow from those things. You know how to better handle, you know how to better handle things um, that you go to. It's part of the process, right? So you can get to the overall end goal and get where you need to be. But in the meantime, stay positive, keep your head up. Um, if you're having a bad day, take a break, walk away from it, regroup, come back. Um, and, and kind of, you know, just keep yourself together pretty much. You can do this. You got this. Just start today. If you're in a process or thinking about starting a business, just start because once you get into it, it's going to be like this. And then, you know, eventually you guys are going to be on a smooth sailing road, right? Keep the overall goal and stay positive. Don't let anybody be negative in your head you're gonna get the little negative Nancy's and the little negative Neils and Neds or whatever you want to call them you know who are like oh that's a great hobby or that's a great side hustle or is that even profitable you're gonna get those type of folks are you gonna keep your real job look keep them folks away from you if they're not positive and with you in growing your business you know um, you haven't got there yet but you will as long as you keep looking forward and keep pushing even when you have no sales one sale two sales ten sales just keep going keep promoting I'm learning all this stuff as I go along so as I'm talking to you guys I'm talking to myself look I appreciate you guys for rocking with me each and every single week get organized this week on your business I'm trying to get organized we got this until next time take care guys